Hi, it's Sarah here. Thank you for reading my blog on Denol and Snap8. So here in this video I'm going to show you how to make up a 5% Snap8 solution and a 3% DMAE or Denol solution. So this isn't super accurate like I would do in a biochemistry lab. It's using things around the house and simple equipment. So hopefully you'll find some value in this. I'll also give you some suggestions of how you might use your solutions. Okay, so we'll begin making our SNAP8 solution. So here I have 10 milligrams of, of SNAP8, and it comes as a white powder. I'm gonna use um, some sterile water to make it up, just because I happen to have some, and it'll be easier for what I want to do. It doesn't have to be sterile, but it's better. To get into these bottles, I need an insulin pin like this, or a, or a syringe with a, with a needle on the end. So this is clean and fresh, although we're not going to be injecting anything, so it doesn't really matter. But it's always good practice to be as clean as possible. So as we're making a 5% solution, I need to add 200 microliters or 0.2 of a mil into here. If I was making a 10% solution, I'd add 100 microliters or 0.1 of a mil. So that's why we need the syringe because it's very small volumes and we want to be as accurate as we can. So once again, I say it's not 100% accurate, but it'll do for what we want to use the snap for. To get into the, this here, goes through the rubber and you draw out Two hundred microliters, so it would be twenty on this particular syringe here, or two or point two. But I've got a picture up the side of of this zoomed in, and then I'd add my liquid in here to the snap solution. So I'd push it in, and then it's done. I've already made this one up, so I'm going to get rid of the water here. So to get into the snap solution, put this in here, turn it upside down, and I pull out a really small amount. Then, once I've put my, my original face cream on, I'm going to add a little bit of this to the top. So I'm just adding it here. So you put it on places which are problem areas. So as I've said already, this is not 100% accurate, but it'll do if you want to save a bit of money, not have Botox and such like. And because, again, we're not using anything to inject, we, you can use this again to get some more snap out. So you just put it back in the fridge. And then I store all peptides in solutions made up in the fridge. You shouldn't really freeze them because then you have to thaw them and then freeze them again and it's called a freeze-thaw cycle and it can damage the product. Also it's really good practice to always label your made up solutions. So here I'm going to write 5% so that I know how much I've made up. Now we're going to make up the DM AE or the Denol solution, it's going to be a 3% solution. I've got 100 grams of powder here, so way more here than I had of the snap, so I can make up a much larger volume. So these scoops here, I've got a 1 mil scoop and a 0.5 mil scoop. And with this particular powder, when I weighed it earlier, it was about 1 gram went in the 1 mil and about half a gram went in this one here. So to make a 3% solution, I want 300 milligrams or one third of a gram. So I can go just over half a scoop in here or work out one third of a scoop here. For my volume, I've got a 10 mil bottle here. And as I said, this is not going to be exactly 
3% because if I had the right measuring equipment you'd put 0.3 grams in and then make the volume up to 10 mils and that would be a precise 3% solution. We're making an approximate 3% solution with the equipment that you might find in your house. So here I have 10 mils of water already in here. If you want to be more accurate you can use a syringe without a needle. So it would be here. Draw up draw up a mill, put it in here, put however many mills you want in, although I just find it easier to use bottles which have already got the volume written on them. So here I've got a 50 mil bottle which is going to make things even easier for making up a solution. However we'll carry on with this one. So we've got 10 mils in here, And then I've got just over half a scoop here, so 300 milligrams, 0.3 grams in my 10 mils. Shake it up and then I can use it as a spray. You don't have to do it like this, this is just one I happen to have. Once again, always good practice, write on what you've made. So I've made 3%. So this one's even easier because it's 50 mils and say if we were making 100 mils of 3% denol, we'd add 3 grams. So we're not making that, we're making half that, so I'd use one scoop which would be one gram half a scoop one gram and a half and I've made up 50 mils of denol at 3% because I don't know what volumes of bottles you're going to have at home so again I'll put the calculation up so that you can work it out so when it comes to biochemistry and chemistry the, the smaller the volumes and amounts you're working with, the more difficult and the more inaccurate it's going to be. So if you had a 100 mil bottle, you'd add 3 grams into that. So that would be quite easy to make up because I think kitchen weighing scales could probably measure out 3 grams. I hope you find this helpful. And once again, I have to stress that this isn't medical advice or anything like this. Also, what I, how I did this, it's not 100% accurate. There are errors in it as well, but it's close enough and it's good enough for what you need. And it also will save you some money as well. Anyway, thank you for watching.